when do you buy when do you sell this is the question that every trader needs to ask themselves before they place any trade in this video i want to give you a goal like i want to give you a way to know when to buy when to sell by giving you a checklist i'll give you a checklist of five things that you should check before you place a trade so guys if you're interested continue watching so if you're watching this video and you have a notebook write the five things down maybe they can help you in the future of your trading journey so with me i have written five things that i know if you follow to the letter if you follow to the letter these five things most probably it will increase your trading results by 50 percent number one you have to do a top-down analysis. You have to do a top-down analysis. And top-down analysis, what do I mean by this? You need to do your analysis from monthly to four hour. So if you're that person who you open your chart and you go straight to five minutes, you go straight to 15 minutes, you go straight, maybe you use 30 minutes, there's something that you're missing. You don't have the whole story of the market. You need top-down analysis to really know and understand how the market story is being told. So you need top-down analysis. That's number one. And this top-down analysis, there are three things that you'll be doing. The three things that you'll be doing. The first thing that you'll be doing, you'll be putting your uh, trend line. You know my videos, if I start top-down analysis, I put my trend line in place. The second thing that you'll be doing, you'll be spotting the key zones. The key zones are demand and supply, which are, are, are like they represent resistance and support. In the market, you tend to find that there are places where the market is getting rejected most of the time. There's the, the place the, the market is respecting. Those so, so spot these zones on the number one thing that you're doing and then the last thing you spot any patterns here is when you go to monthly time frame you can spot a double top if you get a double top on monthly time frame you are double sure that that market is on a sell long term because double top what it does it supports sell so if you go to monthly and and spot a head and shoulder you already know that this market will sell for a long term if you go to weekly if you go to daily and support uh and spot a double bottom you know this market if it will buy for the next few days so spotting any patterns is very 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 important guys so if you have done the top-down analysis from monthly up to four hours, you have put your trend line in place, you have spot your key zones, and maybe you have spot any patterns, now we can go to step two. Step two, we are using moving average. The reason why we use moving average, we really want to know when the, mom, when the trend is shifting. No, even if we are on a buy trend, sometimes that trend can 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 reverse any time so putting a moving average it keeps us on toes we really need to know that okay we were on an uptrend and the market has now broken the 200 dma we are approaching downtrend so 200 for me i see it is very important and i'll show you where you use 200 dma for me i use 200 dma both on daily and four hours so when daily 200 dma is broken i know we have a long term trend when four hour 200 dma is broken i have an entry you need to understand the difference and the 20 ema guys i use it as an entry signal all these steps i'll show you so the number two after you have done your analysis go put in your two moving average that is 220 ema Remember when you're doing your, your analysis, you have hide the 200 and the 20 MA, so they are not interfering with your analysis. And then number three, you have done the number one and the number two thing. The next thing that you need to do is you need to wait for the candlestick pattern. You need to wait for the candlestick pattern. Why? The candlestick pattern is the one that will now give you assurance that this market it's either gonna buy or it is gonna sell because for instance you want to to sell a, a pair you have to wait for a candlestick pattern like a bearish engulfing like a spinning top you need this uh, candlestick patterns and they are very important i have already done a video on that 
number four thing to note and this one many people don't even pay attention the number four thing to note is a uh, exit plan if the structure is broken you might have you might have seen a double bottom but when the market was approaching a buy all of a sudden maybe there are news and the market has gone down destroying everything destroying the structure where is your exit plan if the structure is broken so guys that's number four and then the last one the number five you need to note down your take profit guys that is something that you need to understand from today don't enter a market if you don't know where you will take your profit because the market will give you the profit but it is not there to stay sometimes the market gives you and it takes away everything so you need to be sure where will i put my take profit so guys if you do the five things if you check all these five things they will work for you so without wasting any other moment like i just want to hop in the chat i start one by one we'll go one by one explaining and trying to do so that you can be following when you are alone so guys let's get into the chat so we are now on our chat and today we will be analyzing audi so we have said we want our number one is to do top-down analysis and i have gone to our monthly time frame so uh we'll do the way we do our analysis uh and that is identifying the highest point so just identify the highest point of that market like that identify the lowest point of that market like that and then now i use trend line so i'm using trend line to help me know what is happening So let me use trend line. Okay, so I will use trend line below here. So top down analysis, this is what I mean. You go to monthly and then you start using trend line. And then I will use my trend line here. Like that. And then now we can go to weekly. So monthly is done. Let's go to weekly. So weekly we are adjusting the trend line. Like that. So let's see like that so let's go to daily our analysis ends at four hour so here we are at the daily time frame let's see so that's our daily in our daily, we can see we have uh, the prices are being cut. We don't want that. So we don't want to. You don't put trend line on the occurring candle. So I'll just put like that. Um, yeah. So just put like that. And then we go to four hours. So four hours, this is what we have. We can see buyers have broken that trend line and uh, we cannot touch it so we want to see what happens after that so that's now uh, where we are at you have done your analysis you have you have uh you have done your analysis top down analysis put the trend line you have put a uh, you have tried now we want to try to spot the key zones we want to try and sub, and and spot the key zone um i can say here it was a key zone you see here this market this place you see that place it's a key zone and i'll tell you why it's because this market has touched this key zone here it touched here it has touched and here it has touched three times. 
So my key zone, I can put it there. And then I can put a key zone down here. There's another key zone, so I'll just uh, clone that. Because these are the most important areas in your market. So I can put my keys. And you can see that was the low, the, the last low we had. So if this market will sell, we not we want to see that low getting broken. So that's what you do. You need to identify your previous low. Because this is our previous low here. This one. This is our previous low. And you need to know your previous low. So I have marked my previous low and you can see it's a zone because it has been reacting. So we want to see if this market comes down, uh, maybe it retests and then continue buying. Or if it comes down here, we, may we might have a pattern. We might have a pattern. So now doing that, you have spotted, you have now, you are done with your, we are done with our top down analysis spotting the key zone and spotting the patterns for me i can i'm not really sure on the pattern that we want to be given here unless i see how this candle closes so for the pattern i can define more if i start seeing more uh more details for the patterns i'll i'll keep it open so the next thing that we need, we want to put the 200 DMA so that we may be comfortable either buying or selling because that's where people get wrong. If you're not comfortable on your side, any anything that is happening in the market can mislead you. So we'll go to our daily time frame and try to put 200 DMA and see so that you can know the level we are. Perfect. So whenever we have put our 200 DMA, I already know what to do. Because guys, if I didn't have the 200 DMA, I was wondering, where are we going? Where is this market all of a sudden going? Like, I could not tell if we'll continue to buy or we'll continue to sell. So for me, I had told you guys, I, don't, I, I cannot judge the market because on 4-hour, we have a very bullish candle, you can see. On four hours, it's a bullish candle. Let me show you. It's this bullish candle, but on daily, the candle is not that bullish, but there's something serious with the candle. You can see, guys, it has touched our 200 DMA. What does that mean? Our 200 DMA in this case is acting as, it is acting as resistance. Our trend, trend line failed to act as resistance. It broke our trend line. But now the market is at the 200 DMA. And now this gives me confidence that I might be looking for sales instead of buy. Because all along our market was down. It was below our 200 DMA. So even if I go to 4 hour, I might be looking for entries on sell side. Because our, our the 200 DMA is below, is uh, the price is below 200 DMA. And uh, in uh if the 200 DMA is broken on 200 on, on daily, now I can change I can change my bias to buy. But at this moment, I just want to sell and I just want to see how will this candle react. So guys, that is number one. So for now, we are not even putting the 20 EMA because the 20 EMA I told you guys is for entry. We don't need the 20 EMA because we have not identified where, what the market wants to do. So the 20 EMA is for entry. So for me, I'm comfortable just knowing that I'm, I'm there. And because I want an entry uh, to see what happens, I will go to, I will go to four hours. Now I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable selling the market rather than buying. So let's go to four hours and play the button so i just want this bullish momentum to deplete of course i cannot enter sell uh when the market is this bullish and again on 20 on on four hour the 200 uh, the price is above 200 dma so four hours is still bullish i want the market to come uh remove this so for me i can first even delete let me first delete my zones or let me just keep them there. So I want my 200 DMA to come and break this. To, I want my price to break the 200 DMA. That's the first thing for me to think of even selling. Because the market at this moment is on, uh, it's on uh, 
on a good uptrend on four hour. Or if I get if I get a bearish candle, a very good bearish candle, I can enter sell and target the 200 DME as my take profit. So let's play it, guys. So we have some rejections, some, okay. So this whole buy movement got rejected and we need a candle that is confirming that the sellers are now ready to come in. So the big bullish candle, it's like it is done. So let's continue watching what really happens. So we can see some rejections. So these rejections uh, basically, it means that the market is not yet decided because I've told you, I cannot come directly to sell because on four hours, the market is still above the 200 DMA. If now we flip, I, I hope that day will ended. If we flip to daily, you can see, you can see our market is getting rejected at, uh, let me, let me delete that. So you can see on daily, you know, you have to flip both times. You can see for three days, we have been testing the 200 DMA. So if we test this 200 DMA, eventually the market will come down. So I can, we can either trade with daily time frame or we can trade with four hour time frame. Whichever you want, you can trade with. So I'll just flip to four hours until I see the market has broken the four hours, uh, 200 DMA because the market is still above on four hour chart. So let's continue and see where the 200 DMA it will be broken. So the market is still not decided what it wants to do. So we can see the sellers are coming in, but they have they don't have that momentum. So we can see that consolidation. So if you have noticed on my videos, when I say stay away for consolidating markets, this is what I mean. You can't enter such a market. If we flip again to daily, because every day you will, you will check the daily candle close. See, for how many days now? One, two, three, four, five good days. The market was in one place. So when you flip to your daily chart, you can see clearly the reason that the market is not doing anything is because it is reacting to a 200 EMA. On 4 hours, the reason why we are not entering sell is because still the sell is not clear because the price is above the 200 EMA. Until the price breaks, until the price comes here and breaks this 200 EMA, now we can think of sell. So let's continue playing our market so that the consolidation continues and it's a very, very big consolidation. So what you can do, let me show you what you can do. You can draw a box. Let's try to draw a box on this consolidation because it's giving the same highs and the same lows. So the sellers, the support is the same. The resistance is the same. So if the, the price break that box, we are good to go. If it breaks that box, we know the market is approaching the 200 DMA. So let's continue. So and if the market is inside the box, don't do anything. So as long as the price is inside the box, don't do anything. So let's continue. So it is trying to break the box. You can see that big week, the price was trying to break the box, but it didn't. So we will continue with our box. So as long as the price is inside the box, you're not doing anything. It has broken the box. That was a fake breakout because whenever, this is what happens guys, whenever you see a week breaking a box, you take that, you adjust your box so that you cannot have fake breakout and the box now should be exactly where that week is. So guys, you can see our box has been broken. And if we go to daily, let's see what is happening on daily. When well, now we go on daily, you can see that big bull bearish candle. So this bearish candle, it's an entry candle because the market overall, it has engulfed 
this bearish engulfing it has engulfed so anyone who can see this cell and they enter cell they are good to go they are good to go so for me i when i see this on daily i can just enter cell i can just enter cell and where do i target uh let's see where do i target now we are going to we are going to to the other thing we have seen the market staying number three is candle i talked to you guys about candle which candle would you get in if you're on a daily you want that candle to engulf if you're on a four hour you want the candle to be a very good momentum candle so for us we can enter sell here immediately and target the 200 dma because the market is still uh above the 200 dma but on you know when you are looking on a higher time frame you are more confident and then the the, the price will eventually break the 200 dma daily having the prices below 200 dma it gives us more confidence i don't know if you're understanding because on daily time frame on daily time frame the 200 dma is at uh, the price is below 200 dma there's the rejection on 200 dma so this market most probably it will sell so all we need to do is to enter sell target the 200 dma if the market starts uh, resisting at 200 dma we exit and that's what i was telling you guys number four is exit plan my exit plan now it's very clear i will enter this cell but my goal is the market not to react on the 200 dma if it is start reacting and start doing funny things on 200 dma uh, start giving me indecision candles that is my exit plan that is my exit plan so you need to know your exit plan guys you need to know your exit plan before even you execute the trade so where is my take profit that's something else where is my take profit because uh if you want to enter this trade you want to know your take profit so for me i will put 20 ema on daily i'll put 20 ema on daily because remember daily is what is guiding me to enter this trade i'll come here and put 20 ema on daily so that's perfect 20 ema is my take profit and it's my entry signal and my my take profit signal so my take profit is at 91.98 so i'll just put a, a a green candle like that and then now we go to four hour that's where i believe the market is headed so that's my take profit that's my take profit and you see my take profit is above the 200 dma and my other take profit is this zone so i have to take profit take profit one take profit two and then now my third take profit i don't know if this one now it will get hit you have to have three take profits and so that you can maybe enter three trades and you close as the the take profit is uh being hit so for me i have three take profit i have take profit one I can even write it down for you guys to see. Uh, I will remove this box. Let me remove this box. And now we put our long position, our short position, sorry. Immediately the close of that candle. And because I will enter three trades, if I will put the different take profit I've told you. And I'll tell you how much is the take profit. So uh, the the... The stop loss is above that big momentum candle because if I have this momentum candle, I don't expect the market to turn back. If it turns back, the market had not, it's not yet decided. So uh, let me see the distance from take profit one. Take profit one is 30 pips. Take profit two is 70 pips. Take profit three is 125, 20, 22 pips. So I will do three entries and then every entry I put that take profit so that even if we don't get into take profit three, I would have earned anyway. So that's how you do it. Let's now play this. Let's play it to see what happens. So we continue. We continue. We hope we are not. 
we won't be stopped out. So the market is approaching. It has approached our take profit one. Hit notice, guys. Uh, let me just uh, uh, slow that. Notice after the take profit one, it was very easy to get hit. That one was very easy. And we took that from the daily. You know where you want to put take profit one. You cannot decide. The market will give you a clue. And concerning daily, the 20 EMA gave us a clue. I just put the line and I said, according to daily, the 20 EMA on daily, that's where the market is approaching. And you see, it was very easy to hit my take profit one. But take profit two, it was not hit. Even if I had said I'll put my take profit one on the 200 EMA because I know the market is likely to approach the 200 EMA, still it would have been hit. So either you can deal with the 200 EMA on 4 hour or go on daily, put the 20 EMA for you to know the take profit. So take profit one, it's hit. Now the market is starting to misbehave. The way I was telling you, the market has to misbehave on the 200 before it decides if it wants to go up. At this moment, all my trades are at even. The first one is take profit. It take profit is hit. My, my, my second trade and my third trade are, are at even. So even if the market goes back to my stop loss, uh, it goes back, that trade is at even. And that's what you should do. So let's continue and see what happens. So the market is still continuing. It has broken the 200 EMAs. Notice, if the market breaks the 200 EMA, that market is dropping. So it has broken the 200 EMA and it is dropping. Take profit too. It has been hit, guys. And what the market is doing is it, it is coming back to retrace the 200 EMA. So that is what happening. Take profit one hit. Take profit two hit. So let's continue. Uh, it has retested again, retested again. And uh, now the market is approaching down. And it is, uh, it's like it is not uh, ready to move down. So we don't know if the market will go to, uh, and that's what happened. The take, the, the, that, the, that entry I had put at even, if you had put at even, because this was your entry, that trade you would have been, uh, it would have been at even. So the market guys never came, uh, never came here immediately. So what you do, if it is at even, you just observe the market. You just observe the market and we want to re-enter again. Instead of the market going and getting you into negative, you have been stopped out. Uh, you have not stopped out. You have been, uh, it is an even trade on the take profit too. Uh, take profit three. Sorry, guys. So let me remove that. We, we had two wins one event and now we want to see what is happening can you get a very good momentum candle before this if i check clearly i want to see what happened why did the market all of a sudden went above now i have to take time and try to see what this market is telling me because if you don't know what the market is telling you and you start entering blindly that's where you go wrong so you don't, don't do that. Don't enter blindly. So for me, when I check this check here, I had even, uh, I had even guys told you about my zone. The market is at my zone currently. So the market has not gone back. The market is at my zone. And if you can see, there is a pattern here. Here we have a head and shoulder. Let me show you. This is a shoulder, guys. The first shoulder. And this, all of this is the head. And that market was forming the head to hit my profit. And the market has approached to make a shoulder. Just knowing that I know I have an opportunity to sell this market. I have an opportunity to sell this market. And if I sell this market, my take profit, if the market it is back to the, my take profit one is back to the neckline. Because this is the neckline, guys. That's the neckline. This is the shoulder. S stands for shoulder. This is shoulder. And this is the head. So if I enter here, guys, I told you, you have to know patterns. You have to know patterns. Patterns are your best friend. So for me, I'm not done with sale. 
And guys, because the market was below the 200 DMA on daily, I'm only looking for sell entries. So, and I've, I can see that this market can give us a head and shoulder, and this is a completion of the shoulder. So what do I do when I have noticed this? I want the candle part B, that is B. So to, in this in this in this trade I have two positions I have two take profits I have A and B so that's what I want so A and B is my take profit now let's see for the candle I'm looking for a bearish candle I cannot enter with a a, a bullish candle I want a bearish candle so let's play this thing let's play it uh, still we have a bu a bullish candle I'm not interested. Perfect. So guys, you have a bearish candle. I told you if you follow that chart, that that uh I told you if you follow those five things, you'll never get wrong with this market. So I have that candle. Now I'm confident. I'm confident to enter now sell and I have two positions. I have position A and I have position B. So guys, let's see if that position will be hit. So make sure you enter two trades for me i'll enter two trades if this is the case you enter two trades and then you put you put just above those highs let me put above those highs so take profit one how many pips let me see take profit one is how many pips take profit one is 51 pips take profit two is 114 pips so guys, let's see if we would have won both trades. So t you put two trades, one trade, you put take profit one, the other you put take profit two. So let's see what happens. So the market is continuing going down and our take profit one is hit, guys. Just knowing the chart pattern, knowing that the market is below 200 EMA, on daily time frame and even on four hour the the price has started to break the 200 dma it has broken again this market now it is on a sell side so take profit one is hit and now we are going to take profit two so let's see if take profit two is hit and uh, yes so that's where the market is at guys so you can see that is where the currently market is and my take profit too is not hit yet. So these are some of the trades I have been entering, I have been trading. And as you see, this is now where the market is at currently because it cannot play anymore. And all I'm, I'm hoping is it will hit the take profit. And if it hit the take profit, this is take profit, uh, the that profit that I didn't even mention. So guys, that is it. If you want to know how to trade, follow those five things. Follow those five things and today you'll start seeing a difference in your chart. Don't assume anything. The trend line, some may think the trend line are not working. Oh, you put the trend line on, what, what. This trend line, this trend line when it was broken, there are people who immediately sold. Uh, there are people who bought. And that was the mistake that I was doing. When I saw this big momentum candle, if I didn't have my notes, I would have entered buy. And what happened? The market dropped since then. So when you put your trend line, make sure that you are following the other three things. Because trend line, yes, the trend line works, but they cannot work alone. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.